this is an interesting way to start this week's vlog. I'm at Carlotta's, which is a very zhuzhi restaurant here in Marylebone. It's on the high street, it's opposite where I live, and um, I'm here for lunch, a very exciting lunch. As you know, on October the 13th, I start a brand new radio show, Friday night and Saturday nights with Joe across the whole of England. And the co-presenter, the girl who's going to be doing the nights I'm not doing, which is Thursday through to Sunday, is Becky. And she's going to be broadcasting across England from Manchester. I will be broadcasting from London. So we've never met before, but we thought it was really important um, that we got together and just listen to each other so we know each other's style, what they're going to be talking about. Sorry about all the traffic. Um, but it's the first time I will have met her. So I am so looking forward to it. I think she also used to be an actress. Um, and the one thing about this restaurant is I think it's very social media friendly, so I have a feeling I'll be allowed to film inside. But I am so looking forward. It's really weird meeting someone for the first time when you've heard a lot about them. So I'm going to introduce you to her as well. So this is my risotto with wild mushrooms. It's gorgeous. Becky, this is gorgeous Becky. You'll see a lot of Becky and hear a lot of Becky. Everybody. Absolutely lovely. Um, tell everyone what you've ordered. I've ordered burrata. Can you see it this there? Is art. And look at these lovely little bits and bobs that go on the burrata. I so love I don't know how you eat that. You just, you, so you put these dressings yeah. onto the burrata. Yeah, I'm going to give you some. Yeah, yeah love a little bit. Thank you. So everybody, this is Becky. We are starting, as you know, on... Um, Becky, what date do you start? Um, 8th of October. Gosh, so she will have had a run of it. For, um, don't, please don't set the benchmark very high. <laughs> No danger of that, Joe oh, Good. No danger. Because um, I'll be following at the 13th, so I'm on Friday 13th, read nothing into that. Becky kicks off, so you've got to tune into us. It is um, BBC Local Radio, so it's all England, 10 until 1. Late nights with Becky, late nights with Joe, and you must. She's one of our sympathy. Just look. So this is Carlotta's in Marylebone. Just so beautiful. Strip club, strip club, strip club, please flash. Oh, so clever, so clever. I love how they've done the neon signs back to front. I know, I know, it's very, very early and there's a car siren going and I'm off to work and it's seven o'clock in the morning, Mert. Where are we going or where am I going, Mert, eh? Good morning, everybody. I've got a bald face. I am off to work. I am, can you recognize this beautiful dress? It's from Hobbs. I am so proud to be an ambassador of Hobbs. Um, and today is the big day. So today I am styling their autumn collection. This is, I mean, we've had two dress rehearsals and now we're going to film the styling session. So we're going to a studio in East London with a bald face, there will be hair and makeup. I've got clean hair, a bald face, um, and there'll be a whole team there. And I am working with a model called Zana and I'm so excited. We've done two rehearsals for this to sort out what outfits I want to show you. And um, I can't believe it, I'm 68, I'm five foot one on a good day, and I'm a model for Hobbs. But that just shows what a fantastic um, label they are because they suit, I mean, Zana is of average height, and um, so they suit everybody. This is the petite range but anyway i must go i'm going on the underground uh in the rush hour and um susie's coming in to take myrtle out mert susie's coming in that's flora's flora's owner is coming in to take you out at lunchtime all right and we've had a walk around the churchyard i've left the radio on so you're listening to radio four all right So I am 
right in the heart of the East End. This is uh, very near to Hackney and Hoxton and um, our studios are here somewhere. I don't know where, I'm really early because I had to come from the centre of London. Seriously, it takes ages at the moment because the overground trains don't run. <laughs> I mustn't moan though about public transport. I got a number 26 bus. I got the tube to Liverpool Street. But look at this, right in the heart of the East End. Hello. Producer, <laughs> just look everybody. I mean, this is like, this is like old Brooklyn. So, you know, East End, amazing. Old warehouses turned into very groovy studios. And Natasha, shall I go on up? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Thank you, thank you. Coffee or I'd love a cappuccino. Is that sounds yeah. so pretentious. Is, is there? A, I have a milky cappuccino. Oh, thank you. Someone said to me, as you get older, you love milky drinks, and I love a cappuccino. Okay. Perfect. Do you have normal milk? Yes. Thank you. Thanks so much. Cheers. Wow, how lovely. So here we go. Up here. Up here. And we are in here. And this, look down there, that is the warehouse. Oh wow. Oh wow. This is. Oh, this is where we're filming everybody. How amazing. So this is where they do all these photo shoots. Hello everyone. Here I am in a Hobbs dress and a bald face and a hair that's going frizzy. But never mind, I'm here. This is what I've always wanted, a Smeg fridge. But if you think, a Smeg fridge is almost the size of my flat. Oh wow, look at that. That's what you call a groovy stocked fridge. This is, if I had a full length mirror at home, oh my God, how much easier would my life be? It's what I've got to do, isn't it? Favourite. Makeup. <laughs> oh, you don't mind me doing this, do you? Save it. Frank. So everyone is getting ready. And over here, people doing shots. So excited! All these people just actually. There's me and Zana, and Zana is the other model. I just need this. I really do need this. His Sana. <laughs> <laughs> eaten like a massive amount of brown rice and kidney beans <laughs> so good luck everybody <laughs> from wherever you are here's the wonderful Zan in a dressing gown she's in a velour dressing gown I'm doing the usual yeah so we're having touch-ups which by the way in this racket is called um, retouching yeah. and by the way Mark beautiful. Mark loves my hair don't you Mark I do I do I love the haircut Really Which is a bit hit and miss, as everyone knows. It's a beautiful it's like, colour. It is a nice colour, isn't it? It is a very nice colour. Thank you. There we go.
so this is oh my gosh i'm leaving that was a whole day a very long day it's now six o'clock and um this is shoreditch in the rush hour in the evening i mean i think it was a really really successful day you, i'll be able to show you exactly what we shot once it's uh, been edited um but now i'm heading back to liverpool street I will let Myrtle, who's with my friend Susie, and then I will go into work. Quite a long day, all in all. So pleased that I don't do this every day. How do people do this twice a day? Oh my God. This is crazy. That is the church bell that says nine o'clock. Oh, Myrtle. We've hardly had any time together, but you've had a lovely day with Flora. But I have to go to work. I'm sorry, Mert, I have to go to work. It's nine o'clock at night, yes. Oh, do we dare show everyone what I look like? Look, <laughs> I've taken all the makeup off. I actually love how Mark did my hair on that shoot today. He, instead of having it completely straight, like I was flat ironing it, um, he puts loads and loads and loads of dry shampoo in it. Can you hear Myrtle snoring? Lucky old Myrtle, she's had a day with her cousin Flora. I am heading off and look at me. I never turn up at work looking like this, but honestly, I've just, I put on my, um, just a sweatshirt, my bell bottoms and a leather jacket because it's like slopping out clothes. I've no makeup on, I've put my night serum. So when I get back at half past one, I'm just gonna go to bed. What a day. And you know, Shoreditch, East London, oh my God, it is mental. I like to come back to nice, sedate Marylebone. Look at Marylebone at night. Look at it, nice and sedate. You can take your East End. Give me Marylebone any day. I'll see you in four hours. You look after the flat. There's your octopus. There's your octopus. Don't let any burglars in, all right, Mert? See you at half past one. Bye, Merted. Bye, Myrtle. <laughs>is a private square um, up at the mouth of Regent's Park and there's an underground tunnel that goes from Park Crescent to Park Square.
And if you move in, you can see where they're renovating it. And what was here? It was a nursemaid's tunnel that uh, was developed nearly 200 years ago so that the nursemaids didn't have to mix with the hoi polloi on the Marylebone Road. And they could come underneath with their charges in their big perambulators. Oh, I love this. Just These would have, have been look. the silver cross prams. Well, the, big ones. the really big ones. Georgian prams. And this is what they are renovating here. So and it goes right under the road. I have been uh, with Susie in that tunnel, actually. I have been through there, and with Elisa as well, Lisa Kennedy, my old uh, producer. Um, you can hear the buzz of literally the Euston Road running into um, Marylebone Road. That's behind us. And this, if you're on a double-decker bus, you always think, who's lucky enough to be able to go into these private squares? Susie is allowed to, she's allowed to bring a guest. It's dog friendly. Look at these two. Look, just look at this. It's so lovely for them. is the BT Tower, which you can always see from my kitchen window. Wherever I've lived, wherever I've been filming in my block of flats, you can see the BT Tower. So I can still see it here. It's like it looks over all of us. Um, I don't often have time to do this, to just spend the morning in the park. Um, usually, I'm sort of racing all over the place and my wonderful Susie helps with uh, Myrtle, but when I have a morning like this, I just realise once I start to decrease my workload on air, I am going to have all this time, extra time in the morning to go for lovely autumn walks, winter walks, without racing. So, you know, and it's when I'm in a, when I'm in this sort of environment in London, you can hear the traffic. So I will never be in silence in London. There's always traffic, but. That's what I love, is the juxtaposition of all that urban city living and these little gems, these little sanctuaries that are in the heart of London. And um, especially where we live, because we are so lucky to have royal parks all around us. Yes. So, I honestly, I didn't film a lot of that uh, day's modeling, all the outfits, because I was so busy and I just thought, I am not a model. This is the first time I've ever been. Do you want to come in, Mert? I'm going to keep Myrtle out because I've something important I need to tell you. Myrtle, come out here, otherwise you just, Mert? Oh, all right, but as long as you sit still, all right? Sit still, sit, and not on my glasses. Sit, sit, good girl. <laughs> oh, now she's going to bring me her toy. Right, this is, we. all right. Now you're going to chew the toy. Here I am again. What I wanted to tell you was how extraordinary. I'm 68, I'm five foot tall, and I'm working with a model who's modeled all her life. Um, and Hobbs, you know, have elected me to be a main ambassador for their brand. And their brand is amazing because it's so British, the quality is extraordinary, and I can go on and on, but I won't. Also, that whole day taught me so much because the makeup, Kim who did makeup, said to me, I need to go and have my eyebrows dyed. We shouldn't say that. I just said, should I? Because it would save putting pencil on. And she said, yes, go to, I think she said, go to a blink bar or somewhere um, and have them dyed or go wherever. So I think I might go to Selfridges and have them dyed. And the guy who did my hair made me feel so confident. He said, it's, the way you're doing your hair is perfect because there's all these different styles. So that really boosted my, the whole day boosted my ego. But this is the exciting news. So, Covent Garden, Hobbs in Covent Garden, 
are they arranged for a night for me to meet you and the Hobbs customer in the store so I can show you some of my outfits and styling tips. There is a glass of champagne. It's five pounds to enter, but that's redeemable. So you can, if you if you buy outfits, if you, whatever, but it's five quid and it's a glass of champagne and you'll get to meet loads of my friends and like-minded souls. Um, and there's also, I think there's a certain percentage off any of the Hobbs outfits. Whilst you're there, you can shop, but you don't have to. You can just come and meet me or just meet other women um, that you just have a lovely evening out in Covent Garden. So it's 6.30. Now, it went on sale and sold out in two hours. I can't believe that. And I hadn't even told you about it. So it sold out in two hours and I had so many friends going, Joe, I really wanted to come. People I work with said, I really want to come. So they've now given us another night. And the night is Tuesday the 24th. Tuesday the 24th, 6.30 in Covent Garden. I'm leaving the link below. Um, it is limited places. I can't remember how many, I think it's 50 people can come. Um, so if you click on that now, it's a fiver, as I say, which is redeemable. It's champagne, you get to meet us. What 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 else? What is there to lose? And um, you need to be quick though, says me. I mean, maybe they won't sell out, but it, it may sell out quite quickly. So that's on Tuesday the 24th, and I am so excited. I, you know, I get to meet you, I get to show you the clothes that I like to wear. You can ask me anything, and um, it's going to be a really good night in a dress shop. So yeah, that's that's my bit of news. So yeah, I'm really excited. What else have I got to tell you? Uh, so my skin is doing really well. I'm not wearing any makeup. Um, Dave is in LA. He sent me a text. Shall I read it to you? He sent me a text. So there's no Dave at the end of this. He sent me a text and it said, where's Dave the cabbie? Dave the cabbie. Anyone that knows what he's like, will be understandable. He says, um, arrived in LA 2.30, got to my flat 3.30, started watching The Real Housewives at four o'clock, bliss. He's gone to LA for a month to watch The Real Housewives, bless him. So Dave, I know you'll be watching this from LA. Miss you, I miss you. Gosh, I miss you because for eight minutes every night, Dave and I would just have a conversation, then I would get out. We were like ships that pass in the night. He was my reference point and I was his. So I miss you, Dave, um, but you'll be back in a month. Um, that is it from me and from Myrtle and from my life here in London. Um, please, please, if you want to meet me at the Hobbs Do, it's gonna be a great night out. The link is below and um, I may see you then, but if not, I will see you here next week. And have a great week and subscribe. Please subscribe and give us a thumbs up because apparently all this helps the algorithm. I don't even know what that means. So I still got no makeup on, are you impressed? Me, 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 me. From Myrtle, who's fast asleep at my feet. Have a great week. Bye now, bye.